Power Collection has wonderful 1960s light works, and it was those works that inspired the idea of light and darkness. But then, because the collection is international in scope, there's well over a thousand works, it shifted into looking at painting in the face of conceptual art, the dematerialization of the art object, and then in a sense, the postmodern return to painting. It's a wonderful moment to be reacquainted with many of the great artist thinkers of the last uh, five decades. And artists who have, in visual and in ideas ways, sort of prompted us to think again, well, what is our environment? What does perception mean? What is it to understand country? Those are big questions. They haven't gone away. What is a tradition in art? How, you know, we might engage with the excitement of sort of social movements in the 1960s, but we might also engage with, you know, the deep traditions of indigenous art making. The other thing it tells us a story of is Australian art as part of that international art scene. Some amazing art coming out of America. People were using light. As a young artist, I think it inspired me because of the nature of the light source. You can create an installation or an environment using light very easily. The painting process at that point was dematerializing. So with minimalism, it was almost like going through a vortex and coming out the other side, realizing that you actually don't need to do paintings to make art. The exhibition brings together over 60 artists, many of them key international figures like Bridget Riley, through to the whole group of Latin American artists working in exile in Paris under the grouping of Grave. We have some of the major women artists of the 80s, Australians amongst those, Lindy Lee, Jenny Watson, but also the work of Marina Abramovich working with Ule. The timeline which we have on one wall begins with the construction of the Berlin Wall and charts the very significant historic events running through the three decades. I think this exhibition will crystallise a lot of that history. The new Chachak Wing Museum allows us to show this remarkable collection in a way that we've never been able to before. So it does justice to the art and to the artists.